Welcome to Policy On Demand's Week in Review. I'm Mark Prater. The time between now and Election Day is going to be pressed. That's a given. And here are the most pressing issues. First, Congress has only one thing it must do between now and the election. Fund the government by September 30th and take care of certain authorizations like some farm bill programs. Congress returns on Monday, which leaves roughly three weeks to get this done. Second, it is a virtual certainty that the full year's appropriations process will not be completed. Republican leaders have priorities, such as a continuing resolution that will go through the first six months of the fiscal year, inclusion of the SAVE Act, and proposed funding levels that do not incorporate the side agreements between the Speaker, Speaker McCarthy, and President Biden on their debt limit deal. All three of those positions are opposed by the White House and congressional Democrats. That means a conflict. Fourth, if unresolved, assuming the Speaker has the votes, then we could see short-term CRs. Aside from some House conservatives, none of the players likely see any benefit in a government shutdown this close to the election. Stay tuned. The clock is ticking. Fifth, on the tax legislative front, the Ways and Means Republican tax teams continue their work while the other three groups of tax writers continue their preparation. Chairman Wyden will convene the Senate Finance Committee for a hearing on tax policy issues and the coming elections, 51 days hence, will not be far from the members' minds. I was asked this week about what to expect from the Ways and Means Republican tax team's process. Committee Republicans are looking to mid-October to complete the process, but don't expect any final products of that process prior to the election. Ways and Republicans have moved far in their first goal, which was to educate new committee members on the fiscal and policy issues in play with expiring provisions in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, TCJ. As a preliminary matter, it should be noted that Senate Finance Committee Republicans are engaging in a parallel working group process, and Democrats in both chambers are in discussions too. Finally, with a debate between Vice President Harris and former President Trump on Tuesday, take a look at how each participant shapes the tax and fiscal policy questions in the heavy context of the close of the campaign season as those issues arise during the night. We saw an example of that earlier this week with the Vice President's revised capital gains tax rate proposal. The election as tight as it is, should expect more of those developments.